Well, we have been talking this morning about topics that men are uncomfortable talking about. Okay? Yeah, Things like low testosterone and prostate exams. Now, there are just some of the topics that men are reluctant to get advice on. And vasectomies are right there at the top of that list, apparently. And Carlos is here um, speaking from your own experience. Well, you know, this, this is the most popular time of year to get vasectomies because men will get a vasectomy and then watch, watch basketball, basketball all weekend. <laughs> you know, but my wife and I have been blessed with two wonderful kids, a three-year-old and a nearly two-year-old now. Uh, and after our youngest was born, my wife made the announcement, no more kids. So I said, take some time, think about it. And a year later, she said, yeah, you know what, two kids are enough for us. So... I made an appointment to get a vasectomy with Dr. Jim Sloan at IU Health. But first I asked him, what are the three things that men are most concerned about when it comes to getting a vasectomy? I think the biggest concern that people have when they come in is, is how painful is it going to be for them. Uh, I try to reassure them that it will be a level of discomfort that we feel can be controlled with over-the-counter medicines like ibuprofen or Tylenol. Secondly, uh, men are worried about performance in the bedroom and we can reassure them that that is not affected after a vasectomy. Thirdly, guys are worried about the effect that it might have on their testosterone level and we can also reassure them that that is not affected. All right. We're going to do this right now. My wife is driving. There you go. She's driving the car. She's taking me to get this done. Let's do this. Let's go. Got the robe on, waiting for the doctor to come in. Here I hey, am. hey, there he is. He just walked in. High five. I like you. <laughs> so it has been done. Happy wife. Happy. <laughs> yeah, uh, someone's happy this hallway. Uh, no, it was it was fine. It was you know, I'm I'm walking, you know I'm walking, so yes, I'm not helping him. Yeah, walk so out. there we go. We'll see how it goes for the rest of the day. It was surprising to me that it was such a quick recovery. So you are still fertile for several months after the fact. Correct. I, I recommend about 16 weeks. Obviously with the internet, uh, guys are coming in more informed than they were 20 years ago. Uh, but still, um, you know, we'll definitely have to come over, uh, overcome some misconceptions. And that is true. There are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to having a vasectomy. And you, you do kind of join a club <laughs> if, you, if, if you do mention it in conversation. It's kind of like, oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, you too. Oh, you too. Uh, and so, but you know, it's one of those things where um, I was surprised. Um, at, I thought I'd be, you know, just in traction and I wouldn't be. I, like the next day, I was fine.